and it's an absolute pleasure to be joined in the comp box by one of Scotland's finest, Scott Gillespie. And how do you see this match going, Scott? Afternoon, Tony. Afternoon, Tony. Yeah, looking forward to this match. Um, I mean, Kyle Cope, I've obviously seen a bit of him on the, the amateur tour last year on the Challenger circuit, and um, obviously a 1-1 event. Um, I think he got deep in a couple of other events. Always on the table, played a good few money matches, um, and from what I've seen, he looks he looks unfazed by by the move up to the pro ranks. Um, his game's certainly good enough. So yeah, as much as on paper, Arn's probably favourite here. I mean, I don't think Kyle will be will be too phased with that. And um, yeah, Arn's got a, a real tough game on his on his hands here. But no, I think it's got the the makings have been a great uh, um, a great game. Um, but I think. Yeah, Kyle's yeah, honestly it just looks so composed. It's one thing I really like about his game, like he just floats round the table and just to be honest, doesn't he look like missing. Well when you dispatch somebody like Shane Thompson seven three, I mean that takes some doing because Shane doesn't really play badly anywhere, does he? You know, any of the top plays like that. And to come on your first season and do that to somebody of that stature, that shows that he's obviously quite assured and, and confident. Yeah, exactly, and obviously he's, he's beat uh, Big Foot Simmons um, afterwards as well. So it's like it's always like, and, and he beat he beat Tom Jones as well in the and obviously the prelim game. And Tom's an R one that won last year on the the Challenger circuit. So yeah, it's not been an easy draw, um, but yeah, it doesn't seem phased, and it's definitely one thing I like about his game is if you have no demons and stuff like you just go on with your game, and nothing nothing seems to get in the way. Yeah, but I think that comes with being young as well. I think it's easier, Tony. You've got less battle scars. <laughs> I tell you, well, that's that's a good way of putting it. In fairness, Scott. I mean, uh, when I was a kid, and so in yourself. I mean, you're a little bit younger than me still, anyway. But you didn't know what the word miss meant, and yeah. then suddenly you do. <laughs> when you do now, I can't. I, I can't put a ball. <laughs> yeah, it starts coming a bit more frequent. When you get older. But yeah, he's always leaving this one on the. The left hand cushion. Um, I think. I mean, he always he'll need, I think he'll need to spin round. Is he like? Is he? I, don't know I think. He's did, I mean, for me, he might just have to plop this in and play the cross double bit, and it's it's guesswork where you're going to get onto the black ball. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Um, I mean, I think where he's white as you know, you're still on there. Um, see, the black doesn't go anywhere bar the the bottom left um, from up the top table uh, up, up towards the top table. Um, well, I, I don't think you can get it in at the pace that it's required to get the cue ball over to the other side. Yeah, I mean, I don't know always as well as if the white will, will hit the, the top knuckle, Tony. Um, so yeah, I think he'll he'll be struggling to go to go over for the for the eight ball here. Mm. Always going to be low percentage that one, Scott. Yeah, I mean, I think he's always tried to deal with that earlier. I think he actually tried to get on the the red. He's took into that top left and, and try and can it out but he just landed a bit thin on it because um, I don't think that would have been his natural route to try and leave that to, to his end ball to go on the eight ball but, um, but yeah I mean it's it's just unfortunate sometimes you need to reroute sometimes and it, it wasn't an easy it wasn't an easy shot very many means but um, Arnold will be delighted to get to the table here because as a player I always think when when, when somebody when your opponent breaks and you, you see they've got a, a decent lay layout I can if you always just write that frame off and anything else is a bonus from that. So yeah, Arn will be will be buzzing that he's obviously going to get a hit here. Um and realistically it's a, it's a really good chance for Arn. Well I was on the comms earlier today when Aaron Davies beat John Rowe and his potting of length of the table balls cuts down rails were brilliant today. And it, that was that that was the clinical thing with Aaron Davis, his finishing was you know, in tight positions. You know, not when they were hanging over the back. Yeah, yeah. He he was really good today. Well, that is one thing I've always um, thought that Arns. He's one of these guys that doesn't like to crash into balls. He's he's more precise. Like he's a kind of a Phil Harrison type of player. Um, but I comment I commentated on his match against uh, Clayton Castaldi yesterday. Uh, me and Simon Webb, and um, yeah, that was, was five. Went to, that went to the shootout, didn't it? It did, but he was five one down. He was five one down and. The chances he had, Tony, he could have been, he should have been five-one up. To be honest, it was really, it was weird that his, his cue ball was like very, very loose. But obviously, your first game on these tables it takes a bit of getting used to. Somebody said to me that he had a stomach bug a couple right. of days ago, and he said he was feeling 
right under the weather. So, Very well. I mean, that would have a, an effect on you. But I'll tell you what, he certainly recovered from that today. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for 5 1 down against Clayton, um, it was 4 or 5, but no, it was 5 1 because he, he went 6 5 up, um, and Clayton took out a good finish to go 6 all and, and, and make it go at the 6 red. But no, for, for 5 1 down, I think he was pretty flawless. Um, but obviously he's carried that on and I mean sometimes you know Tony like he can look dead and buried and, and that could just be the the meanings he going on and won that event um, because like you might think you're free rolling um, and obviously he's took his, his his good match play on against John and then he, he's always started off good against um, Kyle here um, and it's against the it's against the break so that's always a, a good sign and as you know Tony this is what the this is what the game's all about now is, is having a break that was one of the defining moments or defining factors against John Rowe today is John Rowe's break was a bit wild but Aaron's was was pretty solid yeah and, and there you go like Alan, Aaron's hit that perfect screwed right up the middle of the table and, and to be honest that ball was not even went close to a bag um, it's just it has so much down to I mean you get people that say it's not luck and you get people that say it is I mean I believe it is luck all you can do is hit them good I, I'm, I'm with that and, 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 and it's luck if a ball goes or not because I mean you don't ever hit any break the exact same and the balls come out the exact same or guarantee a ball to any sort of bag people believe they do though there are players that, you know they, for, for instance Yannick Beauface in France is very meticulous at how he even yeah. he has one of the red dots to have to be pointing directly straight up right. when he puts the cue ball down the exact same number of, of pullbacks before yeah. he strikes and everything it's, it's but, really but, I think that's just the French way though they're so methodical like even Lambert like the, the way they line up their shot yeah. they, they, they bend down with both legs and they bring one leg straight it's, it's, they're very very like they're so similar oh that's unlucky from Kyle there he's attacked his bad ball and he, he's hit it good but he's unlucky to come in behind the yellow there but again he's, he's, he's chasing here um, and I don't really see an easy escape here I can tell you in the last match of the last 32 that table three that Chris Day is 2 2 with Phil Parkin. Just a quick update as we're getting into the nitty gritty of things now. As you already know, John McAllister got through against Arthur and Dad 7 4. Jez Graham has beaten Sean Sharkey 7 6. Wow, that was a. That was a Jez was up 4 1, I think, and then Sean went. Four Five four or six four up, so Jez has always made a comeback again, and he made a comeback against Cousins as well. Well, I think that's been the story of the weekend, Tony. A lot of comebacks, like people have. I don't think you might be leading in. <laughs> no, it's, uh, there's been a lot more tight games than uh, was at the last event last season. You know, Mellon was running around beating everybody seven then and eight yeah. nil, galloping along the place, winning matches inside twenty minutes. Yeah. and there's quite a few seven ones flowing about. But the, you know the upsets yesterday with basically well the, the whole top four going out. Yes, yeah. See, I, I would like to put put money on that you actually had that fourfold. <laughs> well, I said I said it last night. It's actually the treble at first. Uh, I, was, I said if you actually had that, you'd own your own island now, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you wouldn't be here. No. <laughs> yeah. So that that shot that Kyle's played to try and develop his bad balls. Let let um. Arnon with a good chance here again because um, the two yellows down the the bottom of the table next to the eight ball both go. I think the the one closest to the eight ball goes in the in the bottom right as we look at it. But it's all about getting getting a good angle. I mean, he could track down for the for the the yellow. It's just a the, the furthest down yellow, um, and then the the yellow next to the the eight ball spot goes up into the top left. So it's always just. Obviously, each player's got different preferences to, to how they go about their finishes, but they also looked at the yellow down and off the red here to, to clear the bag, which might not be a bad a bad shout. No, that's right, Scott. I think that's a good call. But the only thing is, it depends how hard he hits this, Tony, because I don't know where the red... The only thing is, where's the red going? It doesn't want the red to come up next to the black or the... You know, he's fine. See that? That could have went wrong, but it's it's worked out nice. I mean, you, you can still say it's unfortunate if it had a flick to yellow, but when you're you're hitting balls at pace and they're kind of running about the table, it's it's not always a good idea. But no, he still landed. He's he's good on this now, and 
and that bag down the right hand side was kind of a, both yellow down here, their natural, their natural bag, so it has made it a lot easier. It gave him a bit of freedom there because he didn't need to be as precise on this yellow Tony. Because if if that yellow down the closest to the bottom cushion only went in the left the left side, he'd have had to be straight or just off straight on this yellow. Whereas this angle, he can just stun across the face of the red and and the yellow goes into the bottom right. And these are shots is is where he's very exact how he plays that, and he's played it beautifully. It's a slight little angle, just, it'll just bring the cue ball slightly nearer to the black ball and the black in the centre. And it's been a very composed Aaron Davis so far, Scott. Yeah, I mean, I think he just screws into the red here, and, and, um, or, or just up by the red, it's fine. Um, but yeah, he's, I mean, he's had two chances, and, and he's took the two chances, and that's all you can do, Tony. Like, I was speaking to Simon yesterday, and regardless of like, what happens in the match, if, if players like miss and you come in and take an easy finish away, it, all you can do is take your chances and, and that's it and, and, and Arns took the two of the chances very well yeah I agree with that as well yeah Kyle's hit that break really well there a few clusters up there but and that's all you're looking for is always like to get a ball down on the break it's a funny one now I, th I think yellows for me possibly because you've got the one awkward one up at the top there yeah but you can get into that it can I mean I think I think the red that's furthest right up the top table, I think that's just in the way of playing the yellow and off the red, Tony. I think that's just in the way there, isn't it? Um, but not for the reds. Yeah. I mean, maybe that that red probably slides past the black ball up there into that corner. If it does, then yeah. you know, he's just moved the awkward one out as well in the first shot. So he's played a very good opener there is Carl Cope. Yeah, def um, it must get in by the eight ball, um, because I think if it didn't, you'd have probably been taking yellows there, because um, you only had one bad ball to, to develop, really. But for this angle, it looks, still looks very tight. We can definitely run this red in now, just roll the cue ball through and bump into that yellow that's next to the red. Free up that one. A little yeah. bit closer to his work than he'd like. Yeah, I think he, I think he's played that way because he's tried to make sure he got the yellow out, out the way so he could bounce on off the the top cushion, Tony. But um, yeah, he's he's played with Hunter's a, a right hand side, and that's just kind of a flicked off the yellow, and that's made it go closer to the go closer to the to the red. Um, he's looking at this one next. Wow. I mean, that's, is he trying it in off the yellow now? It must be, because he won't want to run the cable around the table. Oh my god, I can't believe he's played that shot. Well, different. Not left an easy finish for Aaron Davies, but I won't want him back at the table myself. Yeah, exactly, 100%. I mean, you're just, you're just glad that you're, you're always getting back to the table. Um, but yeah, that was, quite, that was quite a strange shot there, because, I mean, the red that's kind of just next to the bulk line, I mean, he could have maybe tried to pot that into the bottom left as we look. Um, but for me, obviously, that red definitely didn't get by the eight ball. Because I think that would have been the shot you'd have been taking. But yeah, Arne's looking at a loss of turn here, but I don't think this is the time to play it. Well, the loss of turn there with yellow onto red or yeah. yellow off the black. Yeah, I think yellow onto the red there, but it's obviously, he would need to hide... We go yellow off the red here now, though, won't he? Yeah, definitely. And he could even try and be cute, and, and I don't know if the whites maybe tracking over towards the red that's that's closest to the left hand side. Um, but that's maybe just trying too much. But I suppose it's a natural angle if you get the, 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 the worst case contact. scenario. You're going to leave yourself at least a double. You know the black goes past that red, so you, this is a this is a chance. Yeah, definitely. But he's screwing back here. Yeah. So maybe he's just going to leave the. The, the yell on the left side as a double because um, then you're guaranteeing yourself a shot Tony and sometimes I think as a player like if you uh, say like Arne's mindset they don't like taking risks you know what I mean because at the end of the day you I mean we're professional pool players where we would, we would get doubles more than we wouldn't um, and obviously the eight ball goes by the, the red so yeah maybe that was his plan to always leave a double there
That's this is the difference, so Scott. You, the, the experience of Aaron Davis, you know, he's been around the, the block a little bit and he's been in these situations and you've got the young exuberance, Kyle Cope, just appeared on the scene. Yeah. And it just at that... That shot that you said there, that when he played off that ball, that Aaron would never have played that shot, would he? No, That's not. The no, I don't well, think so. Well, you wouldn't have played it. No. Well, he can definitely move it from here. Yeah, I mean, I think if he can still drop, and he will play for the double. Um, I mean, well, you guaranteed shot, and it is frame ball as well. That double, you uh, know, the black's dead. Yeah, a hundred percent. Because the way he's probably looking at it as well, it's, it's a free shot at the finish he's had because um, always a Kyle was in first. Yeah, but yeah, I don't think he'll... Yeah, good shot. He, he could actually hold it very easy there. Yeah. So this all depends on the way you play it. I mean, I mean he's always going to be screwing back, so he will be playing it with a bit more pace, so you maybe need to try and widen the angle a bit because it tends to straighten up a bit. Um, the softer you play it, the more it throws. Yeah, it's perfect. You know what I fancied him as well all day long? He's just so precise yeah, with everything. Yeah, he's exactly. playing well. This is a real... Sort of slap in the face there for Kyle Cope. Yeah, this has been this has been a great start from Arm. Yeah, that was his frame there to to chuck away, and he did. Yeah, he's hit him well again. Well, he won't be too disappointed with that outcome. No, I mean at first glance you would think yellows are looking looking okay, but there's actually the cluster up there is actually making them a little awkward and. And the yellow down the bottom doesn't go into the like the the, the bottom right one. Um, I think he's got he's always an easier shot to start with as as the yellow. So I don't think he's actually on an open open red. If you had a little angle on that sort of the yellow that in the middle of the three there towards the, the middle back, you could maybe kick into those that little cluster above it. Yeah, but I think he might be a bit too straight. And that's the thing, he's coming down here to try and get rid of this awkward yellow. He wanted to just let it bump into that red and land on it in the centre. Yeah, but and he still landed okay in it to the top left. Yeah, it's where, it's where the cue ball's going. The cue ball's sort of sailing away just to the right of the cluster then, isn't it? So. Yeah, I mean, he might just softly put it in, Tony, and, and even worst case, take the take the, the, the plant. Um, just depends on the angle he's got and what he can actually do with this. Yeah, you called it there, Scott. He's going to play that plant. Well, he's, that's all he's got. So. Yeah, well, but he's played for it. He's played, played to be on it, like you said. And exactly. But that's where he's landed, and he's, so he's had to just take his medicine and, and, and give himself a shot. I mean, he'd have liked to have been closer to it, um, but no, 100% on the plant, and and um, yeah, all the all the yellows are then out in the open. But it's, it's still not an easy plant. No, it's got to be made. Lovely. Played that well. He's also held for yellow into the centre as well. If he chooses to go that way, which I'm pretty sure he will, yeah. so he can creep round the back of the other one and bump into that red yeah, as well. And it, he's guaranteed to finish on the other yellow into the corner. So, yeah. so if he, uh, his ideal wee angle would be putting this yellow and coming in between the red and yellow, because um, always then you've, you're leading yourself a kind of if you're on the both balls. Yeah, I want to be a bit harder because I think if he's see the angle he's got on the white. To the yellow to the left, and now this is tracked down for the, the eight ball. That's going to be where he wanted to be at. Um, he's just under hit that a little. Still shouldn't cause too many issues. Um, but like seeing, I think normally you could just roll this in, then play it with a bit of check, Tony, off the top cushion. But it's but it so hard to play. It's so hard to play it this, Tony. Grip. Yeah, it's really really difficult to play these shots. Um, it tends to come back in a straight line and it even it throws. Come Sometimes back the other it way. throws yeah. even more. Um, it's as if you played it as running. Um, so yeah, but uh, I mean, this looks quite straight to be honest. I don't know if you need to try and power this and just miss the, the red. That's a danger if you are straight. You can count it into that red coming off yeah, the rail. Yeah, is he just giving yourself a long, long eight ball maybe? Yeah, see that was. Now earlier today, Scott, Aaron potted two of these. Yeah. Well, with the with the with the, the but they were both yellows, and they were both last ball right, to get on blacks, right. and they were a little bit closer to the rail, right. and they're down well, into the same pocket as well. well. One thing for sure is at three 0 up, this is easier than three 0 down. You know what I mean? So, but no, that makes a shot always any easier. But um, oh, well, he's not got that one. For me, he's not committed there. He's like no, he's just driven it down there, isn't he? It's like it's like your kind of school, Tony, or like back McKenzie's day, like in or over. <laughs> Yeah, it was a little bit like that, wasn't it? I mean, you're not going to hit it at pace, but I, I, I tend to agree with you there, Scott. He's, he's sort of 
he's yeah. half hit that. Yeah, because he's such a good potter. I mean, yeah. he should just be thinking, listen, if I miss this, I'm probably going to lose the frame anyway. So just commit to it and, and just put a good stroke on it. Um, because he's not even got the bag there. But that all just came from that one ball. Can if, he, if it runs one more ball and he's straight on that in the middle or, or, or even just off straight, he could have got the angle on that ball. Mm, that was dangerous because he had the plant on there. That I'd, was I'd, I'd have been playing the plant all day long. I don't. I, I th he always thought it was a free shot, Tony, and it wasn't going about that. But when you don't need to get into balls, I don't think there's any point in risking it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's obviously he's, he's still favourite for this frame here, but the fact that the, the eight balls close to a bag, you don't really want to be taking a chance and snookering somebody at this level. No, it's not for me. No, that's one of the worst things, the worst kick in the guts you can have if you. You force yourself into playing a safety at snooker, like you say, with a black, and your opponent comes out and knocks it, and you think, oh. Yeah, I wish no. I'd just went for that. Yeah. And realistically, oh, he well, could be lucky, and that red could go in the way, but. Like well, a side cushion first, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, now, I mean, Arn's got a, a free shot here, and if Arn plays but this 10 times, you'd expect him to get it. He's not got to worry about hitting the cushion after you, you're forced to. Exactly, aye, so, he's so close. So there's no way um, you're going to play yeah, the foul that way. 100%. And as I say, it's like if Arn plays this ten times, I would expect him to get this maybe five. And if, I, if not, he plays it the correct pace. Comes off that side red. Even if he push it over the, if he push it over the back, yeah, it makes it awkward for that red. The yeah. red. This is good. This is a this is a great shot. Great oh shot. my word! Wow, oh. unlucky. I mean, see if that inside red now goes by that. That could be unlucky. I bet Yarn didn't think that was possible. So it all depends, because he's not on the top one here, but if, if the closest one to the white goes in by it... He's fouled though, isn't he? Did he hit a cushion? Uh, did aye, that's a good shout. I, I, didn't I'm, think I'm that. I was looking intently to see if that black ball hit the knuckle after. Yeah, that is a foul. Good call. And that's massive, because now it's ball in hand. Well... That's definitely a foul. Yeah, yeah. No rail. Yeah, doesn't hit a rail. Referee just having a double check. So they're having a little VAR. But we we can definitely see it was a foul, of course. And it'll be ball in hand for Kyle Cut. We'll have another look at it. This was the VAR check. As you can see, the keyboard hits the black. Yep. So close to being a match winner, or frame winner, should I say. And instead, it's a foul. Yeah, I think you threw his off there. Tony was saying that he couldn't not hit a cushion. <laughs> well, that's just the curse of the commentator, yeah. isn't it, Scott? I mean, yeah, exactly. He can't fail to hit the cushion. And what does he do? <laughs> Doesn't hit the cushion. And I mean, another, to another millimetre and he's potted it. Wow. Yeah. I mean, he could have actually screwed him behind that there, Tony. Oh, he come off the bottom and smashed yeah, it. Yeah. He'd have had it all the way up the top of the table. Because having ball in hand there, I mean, you should be using that to your advantage. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's always a bit of room now to get in, to get into the left side. Um, and his cue ball control is quite quite good, but... Well, put it this way, for me, I know he's, a, he's a young lad and that, but if he doesn't get this frame on the board now and goes four down, that's going to that's gonna hurt him. Yeah, 100%. He's, he should have had the last frame, really, and this one's been, a, a, you know, a golden. Mm, they're no easy on these tables. Yeah, he's no man. I think one. he has been caught out a bit by, by some of the, the the reaction with the spin yeah. on 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 this TV so, table. Yeah, no, I mean, he, I mean, we're going in again, aren't we? Yeah, but the, 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 now the eight ball really comes into play here because it's luck, really, if you don't hit the eight ball in. Wow. Well, thank for the table double. It is then. Yeah, I mean. And this is the thing, see to be honest, if he gets a double, this would actually be sore for Arn. Yeah. Because you, you half think you've got a chance again. I think he gets it. <laughs> what, a, what a double. Oh my Told God. You. That Told is incredible. you all day long. That is incredible. That was written in the stars, that one, Scott. That's, well. one of, that's one of the finishes where you'd have just rather he went easy there and just got everything that he should have. Yeah. But see when somebody does that and you think you're back in the frame, that is actually quite sore. Mm, he took a bit off that there. And he's dry. And these reds look nice, Tony. Yeah, these reds would look really nice. 
But he did definitely take a bit off that there. Yeah, not quite there. The butchered break that <laughs> you see from many players. Yeah, so Arnold's just got to deal with these two up top first thing, track down for the, the four reds down the bottom. Don't know if he needs to screw into the yellow here just to keep himself just to keep himself on the right angle so he's going down, but it, to be honest if he gets straight, yeah that's fine because they two on the right hand side. Yeah, so this is a chance Arm is, Arm is hoping for after that. That we chance that he thought he was going to get back at the table there and then Kyle's just produced a, a nice double. Um, well it won't phase Aaron Davies what what just happened. Be a slight slight niggle I'd say more than anything but Yeah, I mean the fact that he's three 0 up obviously helps Tony because if he's three 0 down there and like Kyle does that, I mean that you are chasing even more but no the fact he's three one up, I mean if you'd said to him before the match listen you're going to be three one up after four frames, you're taking that all day long. This is very true. And it could be a quick response here from Aaron Davis. Yeah, the only thing is the eight ball. The eight ball's probably the trickiest because I think if if he takes this plant on just now, he, he might be going into the eight ball a little. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe just maybe just can it so that it even goes down to the middle as well after this. Oh. Very gently done once again. Yeah. But that's it's given a bit more options now because um, if he even pots the the ball over the bag, he can come up to about where the white is just now, and then he can just track up to the the blue spot, Tony around about there, and always the the black goes in the bottom left. Uh, so it was a it was a controlled wee cannon. Oh, he's wow. No, if if the if the that angle the block. The black doesn't look as if it goes into this middle closest to us now. So this could be a bit of a problem. Unless he can top screw straight back and put the black in where the red's going. Top and left hand side of the two rails come come back into the middle of the way towards that blue spot. I think the yellow just puts him off a little. We try to hit it as hard as that, Tony. I think he can maybe screw back and get into the same. No, he was lining up as if he was going to play that shot. No, he's coming in with sc screwing right hand side. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you take that. Yeah, I mean... He, he, I think he's definitely tried to miss the yellow and get into the, kind of the middle of the table there, but because that could have went wrong and hit the top side of the yellow and, and, and snuggled himself, but now he'll, he'll definitely take this all day long. Well, he's been very clinical as Aaron Davies with these sort of shots. Yeah, he doesn't miss us, Tony. I'm no. going to even just say that. <laughs> yeah. Nicely done from Aaron Davies and a quick turnaround. Oh, young as well, don't get me wrong. Oh, the. the yeah, he's, he's no old man. <laughs> no, um, he's had that break again. He, he, I mean, he lost the weight to the side a little bit, but he's definitely crunched them. So this is, of course, his Pro Series Event 1. And there is two Pro events this, this week here in Blackpool. And the Pro Series Event 2 will start later this evening in... He'll be taking part later. Yeah, I play at 7 p.m. Tony. Um, I think the prelims are actually going on just now, um, and the the pro series too, because I actually seen I actually seen Callum Singleton get beat, and I feel for Callum because I watched his match yesterday against Phil Harris, and he was four one up. He's um he's played a he, he played a he tried to play a snooker and just left Phil a, a glimpse of his last red, and Phil's come out with an unbelievable treble, and for for that for that moment. Callum's pretty much just broke and get beat 7-4 and and then yeah he's went on and get beaten his, his, his prelim match this morning uh, I'm sorry this afternoon so it's incredible oh, great double by Arm there again uh, I think this yellow goes by the yeah this red goes by the, the yellows there but no I, I play at 7pm tonight so hopefully try and I don't know just try and kick on and just try and get a wee run going because down in Blackpool I just seem to struggle um, 
uh, between people playing well and a few wee rubs here and there, but I have Is definitely. Is it the sea air? Uh, I'm trying to look for some sort of excuse, Tony. <laughs> I mean, I have struggled a tad. Like, I don't play anything close to the way these tables play up in Scotland, um, which is a big factor. Although I do believe nobody can replicate the way these tables actually play. Um, so yeah, sometimes on the match table it's as a bit tough on you if you don't hit the ground rolling. It's uh, sorry running. It's kind of a, it can it can throw you back a wee bit. Whereas if you hit the ground running, you can feel comfortable and and you can obviously you can obviously manage that easier. And that's all it takes is getting a couple of good good wins on on, on the match tables because you, you start feeling a bit more comfortable. <coughs> yeah, confidence is everything. Yeah, I like the way <coughs> I like the fact that Arn's left this red up over the top right here, because um, obviously he's, if he leaves this red like these two reds to his last ball and splits in, he's not guaranteed to go on the red next to the eight ball. Oh no! Well, a rare mistake from Aaron Davis. Yeah, I mean, that's a tad unfortunate, but I suppose hitting the left side of the red, he was always going close to the, the bottom bag. I think he could have just went into that with a bit more pace because he was always on the the ball that was hanging up the top right. Like, see if he even goes into the black there, it's kind of still splitting the balls up. Yeah, I think they'd like to go in a little bit of a chunkier contact with those balls. Yep. Lost the turn getting played here. And again, it's, a, it's a, I mean, obviously every frame is big, but I mean, 5-1 uh, and 4-2. And because um, Kyle, again, will probably just thought, listen, I've, I've wrote this frame off, that's 5-1. Well, he's played the correct shot there. And now it's in the lap of the gods, really. He's, for Aaron Davis, he's looking at coming off this bot rail really and trying to clip the, the red ball back towards that left-hand centre pocket. Yeah, I mean, I think Kyle was a wee bit loose here. I thought he should have tried to get up next to that yellow on the, the top cushion just to make it a wee bit more awkward, Tony. Well, he got the black closer than the red to that pocket, but great opening now for Kyle. Well, yeah. I think we're going to see slotted away quite comfortably. Yeah, and these are the finishes you want to come to the table and you've got... Um, pretty comfortable he's got nothing to do I mean that one on the rail wouldn't have been a problem anyway but the fact that he can plant it along the along the rail on he's, he's hanging yellow um, certainly made that a lot easier but yeah on reflection I think um, I think Arnold will be I mean, I know he's going to be 4-2 up, but I think he'll be kind of surprised that he's 4-2 up because Kyle has had, has, has always like, has, has had his chances probably in nearly every frame bar one that, that Arn Broughton finished. Um, and it's Kyle's break next, so yeah, Kyle will be thinking, right, get a ball, try and get a quick break and clearance, and all of a sudden for 4-1, when it was looking like going 5-1, it's now 4-3. Yeah, nice black there. Yeah, loads of control. <laughs> nice black. Yeah, he's put a wee bit more. That's, that's unlucky. Yeah, that's that's one of the things. That you can have bad breaks. And myself and Luke Gilbert were discussing earlier. If you go in off in the middle in this, and this, it's bad control. That That's just lap of the gods. You know, devastating yeah. bad mean, luck. I mean, the thing is, Tony, see if you screw straight into the middle or screw straight into the top, like the, 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 the top um, pockets, or if you even go, like, say, within an inch of the pockets, but it was like a foot over there, um, and, and the ball just double kissed and kissed it in. Um, yeah, so that that's just unlucky. Um, I mean, you're screwing back away from the balls, and, and one's come up and kicked it in. Um, yeah, I always just believe if. I mean, that's, that is just hard luck. Like, you, you can do that an hour million times and not do that. Um, but yeah, it's sometimes just the way pool goes, and sometimes it punishes you for chances been missed. And yeah, it's a weird one. I mean, you've been at it a lot longer than me. Only just <laughs> like a lot, lot, lot longer. Let's just say not that lot. <laughs> Give over, Scott. Thought he was my buddy. He's played a nice shot there, first shot. Can you that's that's the difference where. We're having to place the ball anywhere behind the bulk. Um, 
you can give yourself an angle um, and that was the only really dangerous ball because this, this ball down the, the rail is pretty comfortable for Arne. Um, they, they tend to, if you play them with nice pace and get them close to the bag, realistically they'll drop because the, the table, been, the cloth been brand new and stuff like that, the lights, um, the, the bags play a little more open. Yeah, nice shot. I mean, I think ideally I'd like to have dealt with these two reds up the table first, Tony. Um, yeah, you'd, you'd like the last three balls all close together. You know, the two two reds and the black would have been nice yeah. to be the last. Yeah, because I mean, if the two balls aren't there just now, like he's just dropping this one and then he's naturally on. I think the, he might go red. up now. Would yeah, you? I think he has to. Oh well, it's not a great angle. Mm. There's things that can go wrong with this, though, isn't there? Let's let's be honest. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's, he's going to come from the top and down down to the black ball, and there are a lot of yellows around there. He's going to have yeah. to be very accurate with his guidance of the cue ball. And what one thing that always has his strongest attributes is as his cue ball. But the the thing is, it's like in an ideal world, you like to work your way down or up the table, whatever way you want to do it first. But sometimes in finishes you need to go up to come back down to go up and that's just the way it is but he's played a great shot here but like you said before the pace of the table can throw you out but Aaron has I have to say throughout the two matches I've, I've been commentating on he's had that cue ball pretty much under supreme control yeah and that's the thing we always like kind of, uh, when I commented on his match yesterday he was playing on the main table He's on the main table again and obviously he was on one of the side tables if you've commented if you've commentated on his arm match so the three tables play very similar, so getting that um, kind of a practice on these tables certainly does help. Um, so similar to the tennis where you're playing on centre court and court number one, they're sort of yeah. finely manicured better than the outside courts, yeah, do you think? Yeah, and, and, and even the snooker, um, like I've always been very good friends with, with Jamie Burnett and Steve Maguire, and especially speaking to Jamie, like he says... Like a lot of these younger, a lot of these lower ranked down players, when when it used to be in the cubicles of qualifiers, like they didn't fear any player. Um, no. But always when you're playing some that Ronnie and he's, oh that's very that's a nice rub. Oh my god, that was fortunate. Oh, if he comes down and lands on top of that eight ball, he's not a shot at all. But that's just perfect pace. Never. That's, that's a touch of the Lord himself. That one. Yeah, I mean, Kylo was sitting his sitting in his, his chair there thinking, well, I'll not I'll not tell you what he's thinking. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's way too early for that, Scott. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll get any bleepers in this room. <laughs> well, he's taking his time with it. Yeah, yeah, and he's he's got them. I mean, that that was always a more more an angle than we actually thought there. Oh, that was his worst break of the day, and he's actually going to get. He's got a ball from it, but. And look at the reds. Very close there, going towards the centre bounce. Yeah, but yeah, look at the reds. He, he came across that so much here. I mean, he's actually the whites hit below the middle bag. Every other one, he screws straight back. Look at this. Oh, wow, he, he's he's miss hit that unbelievable amounts. And like, this is the thing about breaking. How many times can you hit the break so good and not get a ball, Tony? And then Arn's probably that's the worst. He's probably hit them all weekend, and he's got a ball. And to be honest, the reds are looking okay here. Uh, and that's probably why he's going to go yellows and I'm sitting here <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting here with you as well and I've been sat here for many years I did always think the yellows were the balls <laughs> I was just trying to test you there Tony <laughs> well I always said all along he's going to part a yellow and then, and then play the loss of turn no well it's, I think it's a free shot at a 2 one here so we can go for the finish yeah, yeah it is of course And, and realistically, I think the red's going to be it's well over the bag, so I think, I mean, I would fancy Arne to get this probably eight or nine times out of ten. Yeah, it's quite, quite easy. It's been a long day, let's just say that, Scott, with <laughs> choosing all the wrong shots, wrong colours, yeah. everything. Uh, he's definitely going to go for a yellow here, I, I know that. I think that the yellow closest to the white just now, that always like is in, but I don't know if he comes down and plays a plant, Tony, because I don't think that yellow goes... Oh, no, no, I see, yeah, he, just, he just stuns the one furthest up the table, just stuns that and then plays the one below that and, and comes in behind his other yellow. He's got he's a touch of a surge in the way he sort of yeah, just extracts the balls very gently, 
um, it, it just getting into little fine gaps and, and landing on the six was yeah and that's the thing it's, it's impressive like stuff wow I cannot believe he's playing this shot Tony oh my god I can't believe he's played that shot now well surely he was on that other yell there he must 100% he must have been that's Absolutely. why I said about the plant, and then when I seen the actual route he took, I thought that no, that's perfect. That was quite, that was quite bizarre there. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think um, Kyle was thinking he was going to get back to the table after he seen um, Arn get the the two and one. Nice shot. Nice to see the referee right on top of that there. Because at first when he hit that, I thought it was a bit light. You not get the cue up in the air here and just play straight down with left-hand side to come off that left-hand side rail and sort of arc it round towards you make it, You make it sound so easy, Tony, if that's a shot. It's the only shot I can play. No, well, I well. Can't you get Straight black, blacks and stuff. Black straight, <laughs> straight into the corner pocket. I can't get them. You can get those ones, though. Oh, flick off it and pot. Oh, good shot. Good no, pot. We'll settle for that. Yeah, I mean... What do you think, though? Lost a turn coming here, though, surely? Yeah. Lost your turn. I don't think he needs to try and be too cute with the white. Just leave it where it is. Oh, wow. Well, if he's left enough to see this yellow and put it in the corner, he'll be very... Oh, no, he's put them both in the course. He has yeah, a, that's a what I'm saying. Lost the plot. I didn't think I actually had to do anything crazy with the white there. Um because the yellows didn't go down by the reds he needs to play a good shot here that's enough I'll tell you what my god that's me honestly I, I mean look on at the side you got on there because yeah. those those cushions they, they don't normally take it that's uh, that, that's why I'm, 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 I'm honestly so surprised at, at what he's played there Tony I mean he's, he's always unlucky getting off there but listen that middle bag's always there um, but yeah I just thought he had to play the lossy turn shot and leave the white where it was because they two yellows didn't go anywhere and if 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 um, Arn come up with a great shot, well, fair play to him. Ah, oh, Kyle, that's that's a wee bit loose, mate. And Arn will be delighted to get back to the table there. Wow. Well, this will put Davies on the hill as well. Six two. Yeah, and, and, and we didn't even notice we're actually doing the fifteen second shot clock as well, which when you're chasing that's makes it. it even harder. Well, last chance saloon now for Carl Cope. Desperately needs the ball. Well, he got one, but the wrong one. one. <laughs> yeah. And for me, Tony, this is like uh, I've spoke to Lee Kendall about it. I, I hate this rule. I hate it because Kyle has potted a ball that's in the pack there right now. For me, if you're going to get punished by not potting the eight ball, I don't want the eight ball in the pack. No, I mean like Kyle's had a great ball there. Uh, sorry, had a great break there. And he's now been punished because he's made the black. Now, for me, that should be a re rack, or Kyle gets to carry on. No, I think that's. I just think it's a horrendous rule. Uh, I see. That's, I see the case you've made for that. I do. But everybody's different. Like, but, but for the fact of the matter is, that ball is in the pack. So, like, it's not your fault that it goes. Like, it shouldn't punish you. No, I mean. Yeah, I just, I just don't get that. I don't get that at all. And again, just after what's happened there with, with Kyle going off, it's like, it's as if you just turn around and say, "I well, that's a, that's about right." Like that happened, you know what I mean? Like you just, you just think everything's going against you. Because I mean, six to to Arn Davies here, realistically, it could be like. It could be four each now, maybe five three to Kyle, you know what I mean? It's the yeah, chances. He's had chances. He's had a bit of bad luck mixed you with a couple of maybe a couple of shot selection issues. Yeah, yeah, and a couple of dry breaks as well. Um Yeah, of course. because uh, dry breaks are as you know, at this level it's you really can't be going dry. You just hope that there's a wee bit of cluster but Well this is the chance now to get into the quarter finals for Aaron Davis. 
yeah, and he looks, he, he looks, uh, he's played one or two loose shots, but nothing, nothing mental. Um, he's going to be a handful for Evers Weights. Uh, weights. Yeah, and obviously, as, as I said, Tony, the fact that he's played three matches on like the, the main tables, um, yeah, I mean, and he's part of the world champion. Exactly, aye. From five one down. From five one down, yeah. That stomach bug's obviously disappeared rapidly. Again, the pace is yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that exactly. I mean, you couldn't have actually placed that weight any closer, eh, any better. He about. strokes the ball so gently, you know, it's, it's, it's effortless. Yeah, it's, it's really good to watch. Because he could easily under hit that or over hit that, but it's just, it's perfect. Well, here we are. This is it. Black ball for Davis for a place in the quarterfinal. In it goes. Well played. And well played, Aaron Davis. Very, very clinical. Commiserations, a bit unlucky there. Carl Cope had a couple of chances. Breaks went on his side. A little bit of bad luck here and there. But Aaron Davis worth every cent of that win.